One of the reasons I chose working in the healthcare design studio would be my father, who is a doctor, and I've spent some time working in his office, making sure a healthcare space not only is successful um, for the for the patients, but the staff as well, and those who are working in this space and experience it every day. I was moved to select the healthcare design studio because I wanted to see how I could make a difference in my design. My father has had cancer for the past eight years, and through his battle, I've been in doctor's offices and hospitals, uh, but I really haven't paid attention to or really understood how much the environment impacts their healing. The HDR Healthcare Design Studio is a collaboration between HDR and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln College of Architecture. The focus is primarily in the graduate program of architecture, but we've been able to integrate the interior design program in our fall semester offering by offering a joint studio where the interior design and architecture students uh, work together on healthcare related projects. The healthcare design studio um, actually is an elected studio that the students in fourth year interior design or fifth and sixth year architecture uh, choose to take. The way that as professors we approach it, Kathy and I, we really looked at it not as interior designers on the left, architects on the right. We said we have 30 designers before us and we want them to consider this and have each have an equal role, each have an equal say uh, at the table. In this studio, the students choose to embrace teamwork and to approach a project that is varied and complex for the entire semester. One of the client projects that we were able to work on uh, as a studio project was a pediatric client um, interested in developing a new children's hospital located in Madison, Wisconsin as part of the University of, of Wisconsin system on a very difficult site. We didn't show the students the final solution that was under construction, but we used the, the base program uh, for them to look at and to consider. Each team of four people was tasked with developing three alternatives. The goal was just to create an environment and a building that would be ideal for the patients, the employees, and the pediatric hospital as a whole. Making sure all of those facets of the design um, work together was an important, an important piece of the project. We had an exceptional opportunity that HDR brought the actual client that they had worked with, um, Jennifer Brazelton from the Children's Hospital, to come and work with our students to present uh, her view of what was desired in the hospital and then to work side by side with the students. She was so passionate about the project. She was knowledgeable about their needs. She knew the history and the progression of their project and she was able to convey that to the students. By meeting with a dedicated healthcare professional, um, you realize that this is their building. They're going to be working in this. You're not just designing an empty shell. Um, so meeting with a client who cares about their job and they want this project to be the best it can be really gives a student that extra push to create the best, the best project that they can. Understanding how buildings truly get put together in, quote, the, the real world, I think was extremely important for the students to see, to hear, and to sort of witness. Several HDR employees from different disciplines came in and talked to us. Uh, nursing experts, planning experts, master planning experts, um, interior design experts. There was a true dialogue between the students and the professionals we got from HDR. And maybe it was, you know, from our side, but we challenged the students, you know, ask questions, ask hard, why did you put that carpet there? Why did you put that wall there? And, and really challenge the process of design that happened. And the folks from HDR really embraced it and said, well, we put it there because of, uh, you know, a reason or, you know, we don't know why that happened. And perhaps that's something we should, we should improve on in the future. And so that open dialogue was refreshing. I think it was educational for, to the students to understand that 
you know, you don't always have it all figured out and you need to learn from every single project and take it with you as, as you go. What we did in the studio at the midpoint was we had the students have three developed uh, versions of their project. These three alternatives were to be as different as possible and so that one of the challenges of this is is that there was not an opportunity to quote unquote divide and conquer. Being able to have that midterm review where we got to meet with um, professors, professors from outside the University of Nebraska and HDR uh, f uh, staff and um, professionals definitely guided us and kind of pointed us into the right direction. We think it's important to get other professionals uh, from the industry involved in the healthcare studio because it really gives the students an opportunity to engage with people who come from a different perspective. So not only HDR, they were the stimulus and the, and the glue that held this all together, but really it's where the, the profession steps up as a whole and we get even increased collaboration. In the real world, there's going to be conflict, there's going to be disagreements, but the true measure is how you work together and you go past those disagreements. When you start to cross disciplines, put people together in teams, it has its ups and downs. We all know that working in teams is not always smooth. Of course, not everybody got along. There were times where you didn't agree. Keeping everyone on the same page was a challenge. There were those bumps in the road. We put a lot in the mix. The students perform beautifully. They worked out any issues, they really gained from that experience. Pieces that I worked on were definitely influenced um, by my relationship with interior design students. It was exciting because you were creative people designing together to create one solution. And you could just see that unfold in terms of their behaviors, their support for each other, the, the issues that were addressed in terms of healing environment collaboratively. The studio is going to have a tremendous impact in the future of healthcare design because it starts laying the groundwork for young designers to understand the specialized needs uh, of healthcare design. As a designer, it's made me think about not the big picture, but the small picture, how you affect each individual. Working with HDR, they help you change the scope at which you look at a project, um, taking a look at a much broader range of issues on a project, and then zooming into those and focusing on a lot of the details that, um, as a younger student, you might seem uh, trivial or minor. Really, you learn as you get older, makes the project more successful. They will begin to realize just how um, how much knowledge they have about healthcare. That inherent understanding is now there. So this this collaboration on the part of the education and the profession is um, it, it is just it has immeasurable value. They are the future of the health of our society.